I'm doing pretty good. This is going to be my part two of my BB Craft um, products. And I'm gonna do this little trinket with the pretty little flower. Um, I'm gonna start with using my liquid diamonds to fill in this these fine detailed cracks because it's good to use that resin. And I'm gonna go with the uh, I'm gonna go with this holographic pink. Okay, and then so I'm gonna be doing three layers. Then my second layer, I'm gonna use this bubblegum glow. I think it might be pretty with this. And then my third layer, I'm gonna use the holographic glitter again. Okay, and this one I'm gonna use the bubblegum glow for. And um, that's pretty much it. So I've already have my liquid diamonds already here. Just take some glitter. I have more than I need, plenty more than I need here, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in something else too. I'm gonna put some glitter in there. Pretty good too, because it's gonna sink anyway. I don't need a whole lot. Yeah, that's good. And I'm gonna use my pipette to keep it submerged in there till it completely inflates so it don't pull up any air. That's all I should need right there. to put my light here because I can't see anything. I'll get it going, make sure there's no air. I'll probably fast forward through quite a bit of this one. I'll just let that cure and now I'm gonna do the bubble gum but I'm actually just gonna use the uh, regular premium quality for this one okay so this is pretty that's that bubble gum glow it's beautiful stuff I think I did some coasters with these ones so Hopefully, there's not too much bubble there. So let's look at it, it's pretty. It's a color shift, pretty neat. Okay, uh, hopefully I made up enough for this. There we go, we got plenty. There we go. I'll put on the bubbles in this one. There we 
go. So now I'll just wait for this to cure and do the next two layers. Okay, so it's been about seven hours. Now I'm just gonna do the second layer with the same bubblegum glow. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the pipette for this area too, just in case I over pour. This is very low, almost out of butane flame there. I think that's good. So, it's the next morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> so, I get to do my last layer. So, make sure you stay tuned so we can see the unmolding of it at the end, okay? So, there we go. I just put the resin and mix my resin then i put that glitter there we go I'll go slow just in case you overfill it looking good looking good there we go that's probably a little too full. Um, it might be, because I can't see too well. I just woke up. Oh, uh, uh, it looks good. That'll be fine. Alrighty then, so stay tuned. Okay, so, hi. <laughs> It's been uh, seven hours. It's just going on eight. Uh, it's just a little bit soft, but I think we're okay to take it out, take a look at it. Um, and, you know, if it's soft, you just leave it alone, leave it flat. And that's the way I'll do it on parchment paper. Um, that's it. You can always put it back in your mold too. Anyway, I had a little leftover, and I made this. Am I focused? Yeah. This is... I think, you know, these are nice, too. can embellish on some paintings or something. Yeah. Anyway, let's take a look at this first, because I'm curious... Uh, about bubbles like my like this one here on this one they're just perfectly lined up and so I was thinking it was inside the mold that there might have been a little defect in the mold and I did look inside the mold and there's just these two little marks like this and that on the mold so this one may be the same way we'll see <laughs> If not, I'm seeing things because I swear there were two little things in there. Right, let's see what we have here. Yep, they're there. It was in the mold. So there's something in this mold. Right in there. You can't, yeah, see right there? Just little nicks will cause that. But I knew I was careful with the bubbles. You know what? This one's not as bad. 
this lined up right there. There's two in the same type. <laughs> but this one's not as noticeable. There's two. And there's the other two. Just like that one. But that's neat. Look at that. That is so cool. Look at that. Wow. The messes with the eyes. It looks it has like green in it. Color shifts like crazy. So that's cool. That turned out good. Now this one, gotta be careful though. Young. Hold on, Tanner. I had to pause it for a minute because my son came out and burped. Ooh, that's pretty. love it it looks very pink in person oh down here it looks pink see that color messes with you up here it's different with the light oh my gosh that is so pretty so i realized that you have to put a little button on the top so you can get it in and out looks like it'll fit <laughs> So, I made a little ball, uh, took a bead, and put some glue on it, put some glitter on it, and then I sprayed it with Krylon Triple Glaze, and I'm going to wait for my next resin and do that. Okay, so the next time I resin, I just need a little resin to put those on, because I don't want them coming off. And this one I found out is just that way. It just keeps dust out. <laughs> That's it. Which is cool. It's pretty though, isn't it? With that metallic. So that's it. This was fun. So I plan on making more of these for gifts. These are cute. This is adorable. This is so pretty. I love it. I love this one too. And I love this one. So they're all really neat. Well, I hope everybody is staying well and have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.